One of the hardest things that some people ever do is transform themselves from a person full of self-doubt to a self-assured person who believes in themselves. But the truth of the matter is, no matter where you are in life, how many mistakes you've made, opportunities that you've passed up, or whatever has happened to you in your life, you can overcome self-doubt and start believing in yourself, even if you've had a poor upbringing or you've never believed in yourself before. It is within your power and it will completely change your life. So what is self-doubt? It is defined as the lack of confidence in oneself and one's ability. That's a good definition, but it doesn't fully demonstrate the problems caused by self-doubt and not believing in yourself. So let me ask you these questions. What are the dangers of self-doubt and how does self-doubt affect your life? Where does it even come from? And most importantly, how do you overcome it? In this video, I will give you the answers to all these questions. And if you find something that resonates with you, take notes, write it down. I'm going to totally share with you the strategies I've personally used to overcome self-doubt. So stay tuned. Let's dive right into the video. self-doubt is very dangerous and detrimental to your mental health. That's why it's so important to discuss. It's dangerous to your mental well-being. If you suffer from self-doubt, it's important to understand the type of damage you're doing to yourself. If you continue to hang on to it. And I had to come to this realization myself. It has affected your past, it's affecting your present, and it can devastate you and keep you from your future if you don't deal with it. The reason why self-doubt damages, it damages motivation. When you, don't, when you have self-doubt, you're not motivated to be creative. You're not motivated to go above and beyond. You're just motivated to do the bare minimum, just enough to get by. It can affect your entire life because you may have fewer satisfying relationships. How many of us have experienced that? A job you hate just a life that you're not enjoying. Self-doubt can lead to regret. I know that I've missed a lot of opportunities. I didn't take certain job promotions, didn't go to certain speaking engagements because I doubted myself. And when you miss those opportunities, you will uh, experience regret, especially when left unresolved. It can lead to chronic stress and anxiety. This then will build upon itself to create even more self-doubt and that it's just like a vicious cycle so you have to think you know you always think of all those missed opportunities why didn't I just do it another reason why it's important to realize that self-doubt is detrimental is it stunts uh, self-improvement it stops you from self-improvement I should say when you have no faith in yourself, it's even hard to think about improving yourself. You, re you really don't think you have much to improve because you can't do anything or you may even think you are a victim of your circumstances to a point that even if you tried, you couldn't do it anyway. And that's really sad to feel that way because you already have it in you and you can do anything that you want to do. You all, it's like you almost put this thing on yourself where you failed before you've even tried. Self-doubt can also lead to um, lack of inspiration. When you don't believe in yourself, it's hard to get inspired to do anything new or to create anything. Ending this self-doubt will bring out the creativity you already have within you. This is why self-doubt can really have a negative impact on your day-to-day -day life. Now, let's talk about some solutions to self-doubt and how you can turn all that around. And I personally use these strategies to deal with self-doubt. Um, one of the things that I want to uh, talk to you about um, is the need to start believing in yourself. It's really important to believe in yourself, to believe that you deserve everything that you want out of life. You deserve everything that you're praying for and God is listening to you. You have to have God in your life and you have to believe in Him because number one, He is faith. He is belief. And if you have Him in you, 
then you have that faith and you have that belief and you need to believe in yourself. You deserve everything that, that you ask for and that you pray for. No one is more special than you. Everyone is kind of experiencing the same thing and going through the same thing. So believe in yourself. Just start with that. Believe that it's possible for you to have the things that you want and believe that you're good enough and believe that you already have what you need. That's number one. And number two is ask yourself where you are. Where are you where you want to be? Have you done the things that you wanted to do in life? And if not, start focusing on doing certain activities or goals that's going to help you get there. And it's really important to set small goals that's going to get quick success. For example, if you know that you've been trying to work out um, and you've been struggling, like myself, I haven't worked out in months, but I just started. I set a small goal. I'm going to get up and I'm going to work out today and I'm only going to walk a mile. And I did it. And that just gave me this boost of confidence. I mean, it just boosted my confidence level so much because I got that small goal accomplished. And that's what you want to do. Set a small goal, accomplish it. And it brings in that quick success and it'll give you that boost of confidence to keep going and do it again the next day. So believe in yourself, set small goals to boost your confidence. The next thing you want to do is show gratitude. Be thankful for everything that you have. Be thankful for the small successes that you've already had. If you're doing well in school, be thankful for that. If you are doing great on your job and you got a promotion, be thankful for that. If you have a great family, be grateful for that. Anything that's positive in your life, focus on it and show gratitude. I mean, you woke up this morning, you're watching this video, obviously you want to improve yourself. Be grateful and show gratitude and make gratitude your attitude. So start believing in yourself. Set small goals and show gratitude and everything give thanks, right? Um, and then the fourth thing that you want to do is you want to start um, writing things down. Keep a journal. Um, I find that when you journal, it kind of helps you to go back to an experience and it helps you to learn from your mistakes. So start journaling so that you can learn um, and you can track how you're feeling when certain things happen to you. And then lastly, um, s s I would say s give a compliment. Start focusing on complimenting others and building up others around you. Because when you compliment other people and you help other people reach their goals and get to success, that boosts your level of confidence and it decreases self-doubt because you've helped this person get to where they want to be. So it makes you feel good. It makes them feel good. And it's a win-win situation. So you want to believe in yourself, right? You want to set small goals for those quick wins, quick successes. Show gratitude. Start journaling. Write things down so you know how you feel. And give a compliment and help others. Help other people get to where they want to be. And that's the start. That's five things that you can start doing today to help boost your confidence. And those are things that I do personally in my life to boost my self-confidence. And I tell you, it has made such a difference. Um, and I will tell you, when you invest your time in other people, you help them reach their goals, and you set small goals for yourself and you, you obtain them, you accomplish them, you show gratitude, you keep, a, you keep track on how you feel in my journal and writing things down, and you believe in yourself, the sky is the limit. Actually, there is no limit. You can do anything that you want to do. I hope that you find this information useful. Um, please like, share, or leave a comment below. Um, and I will have more videos coming up on self-doubt and how to deal with that and how to boost and build your confidence. So I will see you guys next time um, in the next video. So stay tuned to Prescription Nurse. Now that's your daily dose.